Hello again, it's Jubal Kane. This is part six of my foundry series, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about irregular parting lines or parting planes. Now, this is a flat back pattern here. It's a split pattern, a two piece pattern, but nevertheless, it's flat. That is, this is a flat plane. So is the other half, and then, of course, they go together like that. This is just a little four inch wheel. Now, an irregular parting line would be something like this where we have a curve or if there's an offset or a step, something like that, that's said to be an irregular parting line. Now these little aluminum cover plates are actually off of a Maytag engine. This is the flywheel off of an old Maytag engine and it's a compound curve. That is it's curved one way and it's also curved this way. So these fit on there like this. It covers the points on the ignition of the flywheel. This is from the 1930s. So I need to make some more of these and uh, this is the original that's you know 70 or 80 years old and uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a uh, mold out of this so we can pour a couple of them and what you need to do is determine what the top and the bottom is and it's tapering this way the that is the draft is uh, pointing up at an angle like this so it's wider down here than what it is right at the top and uh, so when we make the mold this is going to face up on the first side if you have any holes you have to fill the holes and you can fill them temporarily with body putty or clay or even sand but something that won't uh, <coughs> fall out on you We'll do two of these at the same time, and what we're going to do is ram up the sand on one side, and then we, when we turn the mold over, we're going to take a spoon and we're going to part it down. We call that parting it down, and that's the only thing that's really different than any other castings or uh, that we have made or any molds that we have made. <clears throat> so I will meet you at the molding bench presently. We're at the molding bench, and now we're going to make a mold of our two patterns here that have irregular parting lines. And I got a, another little pattern in here that I needed to make, so I'm throwing that in at the same time, which I won't really mention. There's a split pattern, but it's a flat back pattern as well. Now notice that I've got the uh, convex side facing down. And I'm going to put the flask on like this, centering it. I don't know if the camera's going to show down in there. And now we're going to, we've got the handles down, and we're going to put a little bit of parting sand on there. And we'll sift the little sand. And this part that I'm showing you now is pretty similar to what we've done in some of the other videos. So, Now you say, uh, are, aren't those patterns going to kind of rock around a little bit because of your convexness, convexness if that's such a word. Fill this up. Now when you ram this, you need to kind of ram it gently initially so you don't move those patterns around. 